I got a lot of complaints in my last video because I was drinking Diet Pepsi. So I'm here today in what is going to be an epic video and I'll tell you why. And I'm going to let everybody know today I'm drinking Diet Coke. Hello and thank you for joining me at the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. Today, we are going to watch an epic video. I am telling you, epic. This is one of the best sovereign citizen in court videos that I have ever seen. And that is for three reasons. Number one, we're going to see one of the best judges ever that ever dealt with a sovereign citizen since Broward County bond court. Number two, this sovereign citizen, in my opinion, he crumbles. He crumbles. He runs out of words to say. It's great. That's something that we rarely see. And number three, we get a new nickname for sovereign citizens that I will share at the end. So thank you for joining me today. Watch this video. Stick around for my commentary and especially to the end to hear my awesome new nickname and cheers with me as I drink Diet Coke out of a Pepsi glass. <laughs> Okay. intention on pleading guilty I've actually got an unsigned plea because right here I just had a couple of clarifications I need cleared up before I'm able to intelligently do so. Okay so all we can do is tell you what your three options are. We can't give you any other further advice or I'm not asking for advice sir. Okay so what's your question? Um, do I have the right to be informed of the cause and nature of the uh, charges and proceedings against me here today? That's what we're doing here today sir. That's why she called you up here. This is an arraignment. The arraignment is where you enter a plea of guilty, not guilty, or no low contender. Yes, sir. Was that a yes or a no? Okay. I'm going to have you sit down. You're talking to a court. This is no joke. You I'm don't get to address me that way. I explained to you. You asked me, do you have a right to have your charges explained? I told you yes and explained to you what this proceeding was. If you don't like that answer, I'm sorry, but that's the answer. The answer is well, sorry. no. Do not cut me off. I'm explaining to you this is an arraignment. She's explaining to you you're charged with failure to obey a sign or a controlled device. You can plead on that, not guilty, where you don't accept responsibility and you be set down for a trial. You can plead guilty where you accept responsibility, where you plead no low contendere, where you say you do not fight the charges, you're not saying you're guilty, you're not saying you're not guilty. Okay? What's your next question? Well, uh, sir, I appreciate all that information, but uh, it still didn't answer my my initial question. What's your question, sir? Do I have the right to be informed of the cause and nature of the proceedings and charges here against, against yes, me today? Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, am I presumed innocent of these charges here today? Yes, sir, you are. Am I presumed innocent of every element of these charges here today? Yes, sir, you are. Is jurisdiction an element? Yes, sir, it is. Am I presumed innocent of jurisdiction? Yes, sir, you are. And has the prosecution provided any evidence, of factual evidence of jurisdiction for the court, yes or no? No, sir, they haven't. And I'm going to say because they're not required to at this time because this is not a trial. This is an arraignment where you enter your plea after being informed of the charges that you face. So they don't have that, they don't have that responsibility. That responsibility kicks in when you do certain things and when certain things are required, which have not been true. Do you have any other questions for us? Uh, well, I move, I move to dismiss this case for uh, lack, lack of jurisdiction. What cause are you citing lack of jurisdiction, sir? Because the prosecution has not provided any factual evidence of jurisdiction. They don't have to. This is not a trial. This is an arraignment. So how do y'all even have jurisdiction to accept my plea if, if, if jurisdiction is not an issue right now? Because, sir, this is an arraignment. You got a ticket by a Gwinnett County officer on September the 11th, 2020. So that creates the reason why you're in this court. That gives the court jurisdiction over this particular offense. 
if you've not seen strong copies of the book, which you signed on September the 11th. Next question, sir. Um, so your motion to dismiss is denied. Well, I'm not able to intelligently enter a plea if uh, evidence of jurisdiction is not present. I showed you evidence of jurisdiction, sir. I, I mean, the ticket that you signed on September the 11th, so 2020 of this year. That ticket is what gives y'all jurisdiction? Yes, sir. Could you uh, show me where on the ticket it says that? I don't have to show you on the ticket, sir. <sighs> sir, read the bottom of the ticket, please. It states the law and it states the offense that you've been charged with. That is a violation of law of the state of Georgia. It is alleged to have occurred in the county on September the 11th, 2020 which is the venue and the jurisdiction of that particular offense. So that is the jurisdiction and venue of which the law allows me to sit in judgment of this case. How would you like to plead, sir? Sir, if, if this court doesn't have jurisdiction... This court does have jurisdiction. Can you, can you provide factual evidence I of that? I provide it to you. Whether you want to accept it or not, sir, that's, that's irrelevant. I've provided. On that ticket, I didn't see the word jurisdiction anywhere. You don't have to see the word jurisdiction. There's nothing in the law that says that it has to explicitly say jurisdiction. I just cited you the reasons why I have jurisdiction. Anything else, sir? I'm, I'm not able to intelligently enter a plea. Well, I'm going to enter a plea of not guilty on your behalf and set this down for a trial date. That's my ruling. That's what I can do under the law. Sir, have you been to law school? Sir, are... have you been to law school? Answer the question. Are you acting as my attorney, sir? Uh, excuse me? Uh, you just entered a not guilty plea for me. Are you acting? I can do under the law. Because you're it, refusing to enter a plea. If a plea is not able to be obtained, I, I told you I have the intention on pleading guilty if well, jurisdiction sir, has been met. Okay. Mr. Jones, I'm not going to play this game with you. I'm not going to play with you. Either you're going to enter a plea of not guilty, you're going to enter a plea of guilty, or you're going to enter a plea of no low contention. If you don't enter a plea, the law gives me, because you're not entering a plea, indicates not guilty. The law gives me the authority to enter the plea as the judge in this case, as a not guilty, and set it down for trial. That's the law. Okay? Whether you agree with that law is irrelevant to me, sir. It is. It really is. It's irrelevant to me because I'm operating under the. So you refuse to enter a plea? is not guilty. That means you're presumed innocent. That means the county is going to have to bring their evidence here to show me beyond a reasonable doubt that you committed these offenses as alleged in this ticket on this date in the manner in which they set forth. That's where we're at. So you can keep doing this. I'm not going to do this all day with you, but that's the rule. If you don't want to enter a plea, I will enter a plea of not guilty. We'll set this down for a trial, and we'll just see what the county's evidence is or is not. So, uh, I'm not having that discussion, Mr. Jones. Listen to me. I am not having that discussion. So if you continue to go down this road, you're dangerously getting into the point of being held in contempt by this court. So listen to me clearly, sir. I'm not stuttering. I'm not raising my voice. I'm talking to you very calmly. And I'm urging you to listen to me and follow the direction which the court has just given you. If you do not want to enter a plea, the court will enter a plea of not guilty, set this down for a trial. What is it that you want to do, sir? Is it safe to speak? Go right ahead, sir, as long as you're not going to sit here and say you're not, because you can keep saying you're not intelligently able to enter a plea, that's fine. But that's going to be the ruling of the court. So, what is it you want to say, sir? Um, I'm, I'm just going to be quiet because you threatened me with contempt to be thrown in jail. No, I'm threatening you with contempt if you continue to go down this road of telling me I don't have jurisdiction when I've explained to you that I do, and continue to say I haven't shown you that <coughs> that I have jurisdiction when I've shown you that I do. So. 
I'm not going to keep going down it. This is not a game. This is not some parlor trick. This is a court of law that is to be taken very seriously. If you understood the law and made arguments that had some legal basis, then yeah, I would be happy to entertain that. But you're not. What you're doing is spouting things that have no basis of law, that are not correct, and I've explained to you several times, and you keep going down this road that you don't see jurisdiction. It doesn't have to be there, sir. I showed you the facts. Okay, the law is not as explicit as you think it is. It's no loophole that you can play in. So either you want to enter in a guilty, not guilty, or no local contender, or you can talk to Ms. Biggs and see if she will be willing to work this case out to you in a satisfactory manner. But that's what we're going to do here, sir. Okay, so what is it you want to do, Mr. Jones? I really just like to live with my freedom, sir. Ms. Biggs, have you threatened him with jail time? I have not. Yet. Have I threatened him with jail time? No, sir. Has anybody in this courtroom said that Mr. Jones is going to be detained or arrested other than him being contemptuous to the court? No, sir. Deputy. No one has threatened your freedom here, sir. You are making something out of this that is not. And I guess you're trying to entertain these people or try to impress them with some knowledge that you think you have. But you are really testing my patience over something that does not need to be tested on. You are charged with a simple role violation. That's it. Nobody's threatening your liberty. Nobody's going to take you into custody unless you choose to take your have yourself taken into custody by being contemptuous to the court. So I don't under, I, look, I used to be a criminal defense lawyer for 20 years where I represented people charged with murder, rape, child molestation, armed robbery, federal court, state court. I understand the whole nature of people's freedom. I sat with 18 year olds that looked at double life. Mama sitting there crying. And I'm fighting for him every day. So you are really irritating me because you're sitting up here with a traffic ticket trying to act like somebody's about to put you in jail for life or this is some kind of capital case because you want to impress someone or impress these people and waste everybody's time. Now, if you want a trial, you can have a trial. If you want to show how they don't have jurisdiction, then you could do that at a trial. But you cannot do that at an arraignment. Do you understand me? We're clear on that, sir. Have a seat, Mr. Jones. Is you going to waste everybody else's time? Or you going to waste your time? starts out like a lot of sovereign citizen videos in court where uh, the sovereign citizen is sitting in the back of the courtroom illegally recording look I'm thankful for the for the content but don't illegally record so I don't know how he does this he's got his cell phone hidden you know the thing with cell phones today is they're so ubiquitous you could be carrying it around recording all the time and nobody knows you could record the audio while in your pocket nobody knows so this guy's in the back of the courtroom recording judge calls his case he walks up boy this is great judge is asking him if he intends to plead guilty those of you who've watched my show before you know at an arraignment this is an arraignment for this gentleman you enter a plea not guilty you can plead guilty it's no it's no good sense to plead guilty in an arraignment you plead not guilty they let you know the charges for before you that's it okay this sovereign citizen keeps saying oh, I, do I have the right to have the cause in nature and be informed of do I, do I have a right to know the cause in nature of this action and to be informed yes you do yes you do and later on they give them the citation number one 
He's probably already received a copy of the citation, which tells you exactly what happened and what, what you're being charged with. If he hadn't, he likely encountered a police officer who at the very least explained to him what he was going to be charged with or gave him an idea. So number one, you're going to hear verbally what you're charged with. Number two, you're going to get a piece of paper. Once the case is filed in court, you can go down to the courthouse and get a copy of the citation. Okay? It's just... <laughs> <laughs> so um, th there is some really good stuff here. He tries asking the, uh, the the judge questions, and I'm sure, you know, we're going to talk about his YouTube education, but I'm sure that he got these strategies from some sovereign citizen website or YouTube channel. He was asking leading questions. A leading question is a yes or no question that he's using to uh to you know what you do you do that so you can dr drive the witness in the direction that you want this judge wasn't having it and the judge said he was a criminal defense attorney for 20 years he sensed what was going on right away boom shut him down classic very classic okay then he asks is jurisdiction an element is jurisdiction an element all right it's an element of every case it's an element of every case civil uh civil case a criminal case yes you can challenge the jurisdiction not at your arraignment not at your arraignment and jurisdiction is pretty plain and simple jurisdiction and venue the judge he nailed it okay uh jurisdiction venue is the location of the court where your case is to be heard and then jurisdiction is whether that court has the power to hear the case against you all right and for both of those things it can generally be settled and jurisdiction can get complicated but generally can be settled just by knowing the geographical area where the incident occurred if, 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 if the incident allegedly, and, and he's innocent, he's innocent, don't prove him guilty, but if it allegedly occurred in this town, in this neighborhood, then the judge who governs over that neighborhood is going to get to hear the case in his courtroom. It's fairly simple. Now, jurisdictional challenges can come up. They're usually complicated, and it's more than just saying, well, the, the Constitution doesn't apply, okay? Ridiculous, totally ridiculous, all right? So he moves to dismiss due to lack of jurisdiction. Okay, and uh, the the judge the judge just um, <laughs> the judge dismisses it outright, just dismisses it right away. And when he dismisses it, and the judge stops him, it's like it's like the Mike Tyson. What Mike Tyson said, okay, everybody has a plan until they're punched in the face. This sovereign citizen starts to fall apart. So now he thinks, oh, it's better for me to just say nothing or say the say the least amount possible. And now now that's his strategy. And we get to hear the judge just just slam him and put him in place boom 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 he says i'm not able to intelligently enter a plea okay uh that that goes to your competency so that goes to whether or not the person has a mental illness or something is affecting their mental capacity all right and and, and if you don't have that then you let the court know and the case maybe get postponed until that can be worked out but it doesn't make the case go away all right, so this judge is like, look, I'm going to enter it against you. Boom. This guy, he got an answer. For He's ready. He's ready. Very good. Very good judge. Um, when he, he keeps going on about venue and jurisdiction, it's in the complaint. It's in there. Okay. It, it tells you where that's going to be heard. And, 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 and the judge has another great comeback. He says, not everything has to be in there. It doesn't have to. The law doesn't require. All right. Not everything is explained to people who are facing a criminal case or a civil case in every little tiny detail step by step. That's why you get a lawyer. All right, you can sometimes raise challenges for something, but but they're not going to explain. It would take a thousand hours to explain every little thing that applies in a case. Okay, ninety nine percent of it's not relevant, so it's not going to. It says jurisdiction. No, it says this is where it happened. That's all it has to do to show jurisdiction. That's it. Um, so this judge is just great. Okay, he enters a plea for him, and then he asks him. <laughs> And then he asks him, have you ever been to law school? And he, I don't think he really answered, but I would say, yes, your honor, he's been to law school, the YouTube school of law, <laughs> or the sovereign citizen school of law. It's not accredited, and he likely only spent a couple of hours on his videos, 
But it's a law school. It's a law school. I mean, come on, man. Come on. The YouTube School of Law. We need to get diplomas for sovereign citizens for the YouTube School of Law. Okay. Then he says, you're about to, this judge has got great lines. He goes, you're, you're going down the road to contempt. That's a road sovereign citizens seem to enjoy going down. It's a road they like to take themselves down. Do, 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 the yellow brick road to contempt. That's their favorite road. I mean, this guy was killing me. Then he nails him. He nails him as he's sitting there withering, essentially. He says, he says you're not going to find any loopholes here, buddy. You're not going to find any loopholes. And this is the nickname. This is the nickname. I, and let me know in the comments if you have a better one. The loophole explorers, okay? Or, or you know, the loopy holes. I don't know. I came up with loophole explorers. That's what sovereign citizens are. They're just so desperate to find a loophole. I got, there's got to be a loophole. There's got to be a loophole. You know, one in a million people find a loophole, and then all of a sudden, everybody thinks they can do it. It's, it's like winning the lottery. It's like one in a million people win the lottery. Everybody says they're going to do it, okay? Look, I'm not against buying. Bi I buy lottery tickets once in a while. You're taking a shot, a couple bucks here and there, but your chances are this big. And it's the same as finding these loopholes. It's just, um, it's just hilarious. He tells them I'm not here. Uh, and then he says, "You're just up here trying to entertain and impress." <laughs> it's just like, and uh, I can just imagine the other people sitting in the courtroom watching this. And I think the judge took this and was like, "Look." This is, I'm gonna I'm gonna set a bit of an example here. He's sending a message not just to this individual but to other ind individuals. Okay, and uh, when the guy just he just oh, I'm not gonna say anything, I'm not gonna say anything. goes and sits down. You can see the other people in the courtroom. I can just imagine what's going through their head as they are watching this. It was just so funny. And this judge, I'm sure he did not know he was being recorded, but it was glorious. I mean, this judge was fan. Fantastic. So I'm putting him up there with one of the best judges ever uh, to deal with sovereign citizens, right up there with Broward County Bond Court. Okay, this sovereign citizen, I thought he crumbled under pressure, like Mike Tyson said, he got hit in the face, and that was it. His, he lost his plan. He had a plan, you could tell. I'm going to ask him these set of questions, and the judge was like, Shoo! just totally pulled the rug out from underneath him. And we got a new nickname, the Loophole Explorers. Thank you very much for joining me, Common Sense Academy. If you like my content like subscribe comment and share free way to support the show drop me a comment hit the like button lets youtube know you are watching one last time i drink my i'm gonna drink some coke from the pepsi glass cheers oh i forgot i wrote a book on sovereign citizens if you're looking for a christmas gift or if you're just christmas shopping on amazon buy yourself a gift get yourself this book on sovereign citizens it's funny it's lighthearted. it's a great rundown and introduction to the movement and the goofiness that it is thank you